Okay, hello everybody. Um, first and foremost, if I sound a little off, I do have a bit of a head cold, so try to not focus on that. Anyway, we have a Jetta update. Today is Monday, actually it's 9-11, so the 11th of September. So, here she is. You'll see it's wet, we just drove it. So this morning at 9.30, the insurance um, adjuster, not adjuster, the inspector guy came out and looked at this damage and what he said essentially is to replace would be a new door a new fender that rim would count and the rocker panel he said the door the rim the fender no problem what he did say is that if this rocker panel here cannot be fixed and this rocker panel has to be replaced it would total the car because on this car, that panel goes all the way back and up, and it's part of the body, because that's how VW does it. Stupid design, maybe. Yes, okay, it is. As big of a Volkswagen fan as I am, I will admit. So, basically, we had to just hope that that rocker panel damage was not enough to have to total the car. Now, granted, this rim is perfectly fine for the most part. It has a little bit there little bit there it's mostly okay and then obviously this which is just touch up work so we actually went to the body shop just now because we were able to right by my house we had them look at it in hopes that they would say the rocker panel can be fixed well in an almost too good to be true way this car is savable that rocker panel right there can be repaired They've already secured a door and a fender. Um, the rim likely is going to get replaced, but my dad isn't really concerned about the rim, neither am I. I mean, if they want to leave the rim, they can. That said, the insurance is paying for the rim. So what's, what's the biggest deal really is that this car is not totaled. Basically, what the tech at the shop said, he said, well, do you like the car? Oh, yeah, we love it. Fixable. So had it been like my Saturn out there, which I like that Saturn, but had it been something like that, I mean, they probably would have told, I mean, well, it's not even comparable because that car's worth nothing. But either way, yes, fixable. Ironically enough, we're gonna take it and it's gonna start on October 16th, which is my birthday. I hate, I hate it. Not only that, but I don't know how much I can show it. Well, I won't bother. So, my old Explorer, everyone knows I have. I actually still have that. It's parked out there right now. Um, I kept it around. I'm getting ready to put it for sale just because I wanted to keep it, basically. And I got a temp tag for it just because, and it expires on 10-16 as well. So, my birthday is just... Oh, I don't even want to think about it. It makes my head cold worse. Anyways, yes, this is just a quick update to say the Jetta is savable. And it's going to live on more. It would have been nice to have this happen before we had it all repainted from the rust, but that's the big update is the Jetta is going to be around. And I guess the weekend, because October 16th is a Monday, so I guess the 14th or the 15th, we're going to drop it off and it's going to be gone for about a week and a half. So One other thing I forgot to mention really quickly, when it's in for the uh, work in October, insurance is going to provide a rental car at no extra cost, so that'll be taken care of. I was thinking we should rent the most expensive one we can get, but my guess is it's going to be the cheapest one we can get because that's what they're going to rent for us. So in the future, you might see a tour of a, a Nissan Sentra or something on my channel. So yeah, long story short, insurance is covering the cost of a rental car for that week and a half. Yeah, just wanted to put that update out there, Isaac24.com.